Oh, hey. Well, I got to come for you guys today. Now, you guys heard of spaces on Windows... No. Spaces on... Uh, Mac OS 10, right? Well, I got something for you guys that's just like that. Alright. Let's get into, uh... Desktop mode. And let's go to space number 4. Alright, this is what it looks like on Mac OS 10 right here. Okay? Now, when you go to... This website that I'm about to give you, you're gonna go to uh, code codeplex.com forward slash VDM. All right. I will have an annotation and a uh, the link in the description. Okay. But uh, what this is is just like spaces. When you click, uh, like you click a uh, Apple key and whatever it is dedicated to but with this one you're gonna click uh windows key and z you will show up a, a screen like this and then uh depending on what you're doing like let's just say you want to go to an internet browser with just internet on it nothing else and you're very picky about that well i have my own right now set up right now as the max OS 10 spaces picture. So you would go ahead and click on that. Or well, actually, you're gonna have to go down to the right and click enter. And there you go. It fades out, and there's your, your desktop right there. This is just like spaces again, just like spaces. This is the spaces right now, as you can see right now. It's Mac OS 10 spaces. So what that you can do that. Okay, uh, now when you download this, you guys can go ahead and download it, and then after it's done downloading, you're going to go to Windows, All Programs, and you're going to, I cannot zoom in, I'm sorry guys, there's something going on with my computer, uh, you're going to go to Vista and XP Visual Virtual Desktops, click on it, and then click on Vista and XP Virtual Desktops. And then you're going to go through setup and all that stuff, and then what you do is you press Windows, Z. And then you're going to have the option on which one you want to use. Now, you can have up to a hundred uh, spaces, a hundred of them. But why would you need it? I mean, you do about 15 things, just give, and, give or take, 15 things at a time. So at least have at only 20, at least that's what I'll do, I won't have any more than like 20 at a time. So I won't have a cluttered computer with no memory anymore. Uh, but the only way to move around this, you cannot just click it, like right now I want to go to this page. I, oh I guess I can click it. Oh wow, everyone's learning something new today. But anyway, so you go back to that and then... Let's just say you want to go to an empty desktop. You want to start with flesh. Flesh like me. Yeah. <laughs> Double click on that. Double click. Make sure you double click. And then do whatever you want. Like, let's just say I want a video edit on this one. Open up Sony Vegas 09. And then there you go, it opens up Sony Vegas 09 on this space. So this can be my editing space, editing space, this can be my main page, this can be my videos page, and this can be whatever page, you know. I might not even use this one. But this is my main page, and I got this from Revision 3, the YouTube user. So if you guys can go ahead and subscribe to them, they'll teach you how to do it. I'll put their their video link in the description also. Not only that, I will put their uh, the website's uh, website's description you know, on here. I'll, I'll give you the link directly to this page, so you guys won't feel like, where do I click? So I'll put this direct link as a bit ly. So don't be afraid to click on it, because you might not know what it is, but this is it. 
I'm gonna have this one as a bit ly and the other one. So I'm gonna have them both named. This is for virtual desktop manager. This is for the video. I for the video I might also have an annotation on here. So that'll be also a great thing to have. All right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this video and I'm gonna get right to it.